So right now when I double click, then I'm able to get to the edit screen, but I'm not able to make any changes. I am typing on my keyboard, but I'm not able to type anything. And although you can see here, the number is, in, is incrementing, editing is done, uh, but I can click on the submit on my return on my keyboard and I'm able to get back to the view screen. So we definitely need to fix that. So what we need to do here is right now we are able to handle in our input, we are able to handle on key down, which is on submit, but we are not handling on change. So let's do that on change. So let's have our handler this dot handle editing change dot bind this. Okay. So now let's think about what will be in handle editing change. Handle editing change. We'll take an event. So the question is that we from event dot target dot value. This is the changed value. But where do we hold the change value? Remember the to-do items, this title, the status done, they are coming from the parent app. And the display item has only one state, editing. But we need to have a state for the changed value. We don't want to keep sending the change value upstream to the app. We want to change, send the final value when the user hits submit to the parent app to be persisted in the database, which we have not yet looked into. The persistence to the database will be covered in an upcoming episode. But he, right now we have a problem where as I'm typing, editing the value, we need to maintain the state. So that state needs to be maintained by the display item itself. So what we are saying is that we have a new state called changed text. So right now I'm not going to type change text because it has some complexity. So we'll uh, see that very soon. But for now, let's handle that value here. Var underscore changed text. This is the change text. And we can say this dot set state. Changed text is the new changed text. So we are setting the state, we have the uh, the change value. And here, now that we have changing the text, the value needs to be based on the state, not from the static value to do dot title. So we need to do this dot state dot changed text. So let's try doing that. So we double click it and there is no value. So we lost the value. However, the good thing is that I'm able to type the value. So now the question is how, why did we lose the value? We lost the value because we look at method handle editing. So we switched from view to handle editing because of double click. But when we do handle editing, what is the default text for change text? There is no value for change text. So we can temp, we can get around to that problem by anytime we say that handle editing is true, copy the value which we got from the prop. So we can do change text this dot props dot to do dot title. Okay, so let's try to now we double click and now we have the value. So and now not only that we can do x two we hit submit. So we hit submit and we got out of editing mode, but we don't see the change text. So what do we need to do in order to see the change text? So for that, what we need to do is we need, to, when we are displaying the value, we are displaying the static value to do dot title. So we need to change that to this dot state dot changed text. Now let's see, we see the value x2, but what happened to the other two items? Because the other two items we did not even touch, we did not edit, 
so they don't have any change text so now the question is and in fact we can see that problem better by refreshing by doing a hard refresh if i do hard refresh all of these values are gone why are they gone they're gone because the when the component is rendering it executes this dot state dot change text but this dot state dot change text we are populating change text only at one place when we do handle editing so one way to do is to to ensure that that part is working is by double clicking if i double click x if i hit submit now change text has been populated but initially it is not populated so what is the solution the solution is a life cycle event given to us by react.js and that is called component did mount so when this component display item is mounted then we this function will be invoked and right now we're just going to put console.log that component is mounted so let's clean this screen and we'll do a hard refresh so we got three times the messages component is mounted so each of those records three records each when the three records are component is mounted we get this lifecycle callback component is mounted and this is a good place where we can set the state set state changed text so this is the place where we can get the value from the props and this dot props dot to do dot title and we can delete this console log message and now if we do hard refresh by default we have the values we can say x to x2 and x to value is retained there 